today we're going to be looking at uh, moving out of the level and we're going to start working on some other things for the menu. I'm not going to start working on the main menu today, but we're going to be working on the one of the very important parts of the game is the credits. First off, we have our scene here, which is level. We'll just call this now. We'll rename this scene up here level one. Also, while I'm thinking about it, let's see if I can start this display here. There we go. So now you know down here what buttons and mouse keys I'm pressing. Yeah, keyboard keys and mouse buttons I'm pressing. So next we're going to say, well, we're going to add a new scene. Uh, yeah, just a new scene. It's completely empty. It doesn't even have a camera. So let's add in a camera. Let's add in a lamp. We'll make it in area lamp sure why not and uh, we'll go in the top view here we'll grab our camera on the y-axis and move it back a little bit we'll grab our lighting source here we'll grab it and move it over here and next we're going to add in some text uh, not the texture add text there we go. Let's go to our camera view here. R for rotate, X for X axes, and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. Let's uh, tab. Well, we'll leave that in there for a second just so we can come over here to our font tab with the font selected, with the text selected. Let's extrude a little bit. We'll say 0 0.2. Uh, we will also make it centered. I'm going to leave it at the default font. Since these are credits, I want them easy to read, so I'm not going to use the same font I've been using in the game. Uh, I'm also going to scale it down a little bit. Let's go ahead, and at this point, we'll hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, Backspace, Delete Everything, and I'm going to come down here to Text, Paste File. I'm going to go to my game folder and choose a text file that has all the credits in it, everyone's name, the backers, people who helped with the music, there it all is right there. Let's get out of edit mode, select that, and let's see, grab on the z-axis, start scrolling up, make sure all the names fit within the camera, otherwise we're going to have to move the camera back or resize uh, the font. A lot of backers, very thankful to all of you. These names, some of these names are going a little off the screen. Let's just scale this down. Actually, probably better off since it's so large now. Let's move the camera back, although I think everything's in. But just to be sure we don't cut anybody's name off, we'll back up a little bit. Uh, at this point, if we hit P to go into game mode, you notice you don't see anything. Um, and actually, there fonts used to not be visible in the game mode at all. Uh, there is a way to make them visible, but the the alignment gets all off. So what we're going to do is, once we're sure that we have everyone's name in there, we're going to hit Object, Convert to Mesh from Curve or Text. And now, instead of being a text object, it is a mesh object. And uh, if we hit P to go into game mode, you can see it right there. Kind of ugly at this point. Let's go ahead and give it some color, we'll give it a material, new, uh, and just to stay with the theme of the game, I'm going to make it a yellow color. Also, let's go in the top view here. Let's move this lighting back a little bit. I think it was a little bright. P to go into game mode again. So that's what it's looking like. Let's also, I'm just going to grab the lighting and move it up a little bit. Now let's go back to our camera view and hit P so we get the light coming down from the top. Okay, uh, next we want to change the background to black. Now if we go into our world view here and um, add a texture and we hit P, you'll notice that Oh, it does turn black. I was thinking it wasn't going to for some reason. Well, good for us. I was going to uh, put a plane back there that was black, but now I don't have to do that. Okay, next step is the animation of all this. So first things first, let's uh, grab our text 
mesh here. Grab Z, make sure that you have continuous grab on. So you can just keep on scrolling down, scrolling down. And we're gonna go to where the names and everything are just off the bottom of the camera view. Uh, let's change our scene here to be, instead of 250, let's make it, don't want it to be too fast, I'm gonna have to adjust this, I'm gonna say 1,500 1, frames. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm at frame one, you can see that right there. I'm gonna hit I and set a location, rotation, and scale. Next, I'm going to shift right arrow, take me to the last frame of the scene, grab Z, and I'm just going to move everything up so that we can, lots of names, okay, come back down, everyone goes right off the top there, hit I, set that, now we can hit Alt A to uh, see the animation here, starts off a little slow, let's go ahead and uh, might be too slow, but it will also render different in the actual game. So before we make any adjustments, let's come down here to our logic editor with the cursor over that. I'm going to hit control up to make that full screen so it's easier for you to see. I'm going to say always and connect this. And we're going to say action, connect this. Let's make it a loop at the end. And we'll say start at frame zero and go to frame 1,500, and now control down arrow. Oh, we also have to pick the object, which is our text object here. And uh, if we hit P to start up game mode, let's see how this is looking. And right now the animation's kind of on a curve, so it's gonna start off a little slow and kind of speed up after a little bit and then slow down towards the end. But it's uh, looking good to me so far. Let's see, I think that's a decent speed and I think we're about at the max speed. I don't think it's gonna speed up much anymore. Great, I think that looks great. Um, now, uh, once we, ooh, little bit of a glitch there from one of the, ooh, some of the text. I'll have to look into that. Might just be the size of this mesh. Um, at least the names are readable now. Once again, that's a, a glitch we'll come back to later. I'm not going to try to figure out while I'm recording now because it might take me a little while. Here we go. We're coming towards the end. The last names are going to slowly scroll off the screen. And then the credits are going to start over again. Now, obviously, they're in an endless loop now. Once we make a main menu, we'll add a button in here to go back to the main menu at any point. Uh, but for now, we've got this scene that scrolls like that. And uh, we can hit escape to get out of that. And we're going to change the scene name to Game Credits. And we will save this. And that is it. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful, kind of simple, but important to have credits in your games and having a nice little animation scrolling up, kind of like you're watching the end of a movie. Um, check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. You can go there for uh, all my different tutorials. There's also a link there at the top that says pop. It will bring you to the pop website, or you can just go to filmsbychris.com forward slash pop. That's P-O-P, -P, all lowercase. Um, there you can, off to the left, you'll see a link to the playlist of every video for every uh, step of this game creation, as well as a link to the project files. Um, as of right now, we don't have um, any you know, packages for install, but in the uh, Blend files, if you get the newest one, everything should be packaged in there. So if you have Blender 2.60 or higher, you should be able to download one of the newest blend files and open it up in that regardless of your operating system and play the game. So I thank you for watching and I hope that you are having a great day.